Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, I guess, at this point. Um, so I've been working on my mocajete. And um, so I have people telling me do rice, and another people telling me do salt. And then this one guy that I follow, he does a lot of traditional um, recipes and stuff. And um, he said do rice twice, then do the coarse salt, and then do garlic. Um, so I did the rice once yesterday, and this thing is so big, I don't know if you see, it's huge and heavy. Um, so I think it actually looks pretty good with the rice the one time. So I'm going to do the salt now, and um, you're supposed to use fresh garlic, so I'm going to have to go to the store and get some fresh garlic all I have it is like mince and oil and stuff right now. Um, but salt is too much easier to do than the rice. Uh, the rice was like shooting out all over the place. I had a really hard time getting the top part here done um, with the rice. You know, because I was trying to like balance it and like, yeah. So that was really hard. I probably didn't do as good a job with the uh, rice. Salt is very easy and just filling in those holes. So I'm going to so make sure you get all sides of your pestle, you know, mortar, pestle. But this is a traditional, I don't know if it's South American or um, just Mexican. I always just hear it from the uh, from the Mexicans, but I know it's the traditional ones that are made of the volcanic rock, which this one is. You have to be careful because sometimes they try to pass off cement ones as um, the traditional volcanic rock. And let's see. Now these top sides are a little bit harder, so I kind of Probably supposed to wipe it out with a damn towel in between. Um, I didn't, but whatever. I'll do it after this one. This is so much easier than the rice. You should have seen me fighting with the rice yesterday. I mean, my dog was loving it. She was just going around getting up all the little rice pieces, but. Watch somebody's gonna tell me, oh, you should have cooked it or something, which I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to cook it, but what do I know? I've never owned one before. So, but I kind of think of having one of these as like a cast iron skillet because it's the same kind of like love and care that you gotta put into it with like making sure it's seasoned and everything. So, I think I did a pretty good job of getting, the one thing I can't figure out how to do is get the sides of the pestle. I'm like, they said to do that too, but I, let's see if I get enough of it on the side here. Salt is really ground in there. Let's see, kind of get the bottom sides this way. Maybe if I switch it around. I needed some uh, rose, rosemary the other day, so I used it for that. So it's going to be a little seasoned with rosemary. And I'm okay with that because I like rosemary. I put rosemary in a lot of stuff. It's one of my go-tos in my palette of seasonings that I tend to use. So I'm going to get the ends, but I just can't figure out how to get oop, that middle part. Ugh. So I think that's pretty good for salt. So let's see, let's dump this and 
give it a wet wipe and see what it looks like. I should have just put that salt in my salt shaker, but I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it. I imagine that like sea salt or Himalayan salt would probably be better, but I just have those in a grinder, so the only coarse salt I have is kosher salt. But let's get a little wet. So they had said use a damp one, so I bring it out a bit and give it a quick wipe. So much salt. Let's see. pretty good. Oh, let me give you guys a little better view. I don't want to do too much because the paper towels start coming apart, but I think it looks pretty good. So I think me and the boys are supposed to go to Aldi later. Um, so I'll get some garlic and uh, see if they got any avocados so I can make some guacamole. All right. I'll show you guys the rest later. Be back. Okay, so I'll post another video either later tonight or um, tomorrow with the um, the garlic and the guacamole, and we'll see how everything turns out. All right, peace, love, and bocahete. Meow.